Sir Michael Parkinson, 88, looked sprightly as he got into the party spirit alongside his friend Dickie Bird, who marked his 90th birthday on Wednesday. The broadcasting icon opted for a dapper suit for the occasion, dressing up in a light blue shirt, paired with black trousers and a navy checkered blazer. Sir Michael was pictured smiling widely while posing for the camera with his arms around retired international cricket umpire Dickey. In one photo, the pals seemed to be sharing a laugh together while other partygoers sat at tables behind them. The presenter joined the festivities at Leeds Headingley Stadium, and was seen chatting to fellow guests at his table. Duran Duran star gives update on Andy Taylor's stage 4 cancer battle Dickie also looked very smart in a bright blue shirt, which he wore with a tie, a pinstripe grey jacket, and matching trousers. Sir Michael and Dickie have been friends for a long time after being teammates at Barnsley Cricket Club in the 1950s. Sir Michael then moved on to pursue his incredible career in television, fronting his own chat show. He presented Parkinson from 1971 to 1982, before returning to his seat as host from 1998 to 2007. Don't miss! Paul O'Grady's cause of death confirmed after Star died at home age 67, latest, Lee Mead in private life vow after ex Denise Van Outen's open letter, exclusive, a place in the sun star Laura Hamilton shares exciting venture, comment, Michael was seen on TV more recently in 2022, when he appeared as a guest on Good Morning Britain with his son Mike, 55. Michael and his son were promoting his new book My Sporting Life, Memories, Moments, and Declarations. The father and son duo worked on the book together, with Mike co-writing the project with his dad. The television legend chatted to ITV hosts Richard Madeley and Susanna Reid about his interviewing techniques. Sir Michael told the duo, it takes some doing to actually be frank in an interview, to ask the questions properly and not be delicate around certain subjects. You're aware of that as the interviewer. It's a fascinating subject. There's lots of other things that come into it. He then quipped. I enjoy watching interviews as well nowadays, particularly when they don't get it right. During the height of his career, Sir Michael interviewed director Orson Welles, boxer Muhammad Ali, actors Sir Anthony Hopkins and Sir David Attenborough, 